I'm so stinking excited to do this review. This Korean Beauty Dark Spot Correcting Serum. It is the Anua Niacinamide 10% plus TXA 4% Dark Spot Correcting Serum. We're gonna talk about what it's supposed to do, actually do our first impression and try it together. And I'll show you guys the routine I'll be using for the next month as long as my skin likes the product. So let's jump right in. So what is this product supposed to do? So like I said, it has 10% niacinamide, which my skin does love, but it also has 4% TXA. What is TXA? It is transemic acid. This is a brightening serum that brightens dark and dull skin with 10% niacinamide, 4% transemic acid, and 2% arbitin. Vitamin B12, natural in pink, is a fermented plant derived ingredient and the color may fade when exposed to light for a long time. However, it does not affect the quality of the product. That is very good to note and know from now. It took me a while to try it because I wanted to get my skin to a really good place before I added it to the routine. And if I may say so myself, can you see the glow? Does the skin look good? I think it does. We have these little spots at this point now, little after really working the routine, okay? But we got these areas that have been very stubborn. I think adding a dark spot correcting serum is going to be the key to get me to where I need to be for my wedding. We are on a mission to have beautiful, glowy, clear skin. I wanna be able to just do lashes, lip gloss, and a tan. Hey baby loves, welcome back to the Fiesta. If you're new here, my name is Keyshawn Dupuy, and if you're not, uh-huh. You're loyal. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell down below if you're interested in seeing weekly hair or skin product reviews, tips, tricks, and advice every Sunday. That's it. The rest of it is kindly in Korean and I'm, I, I can't read it. So let's go to the website. Things that I read on the website that I want to highlight. This is for all skin types, including sensitive and acne prone skin. The benefits of the product or the uses of the product is a dark spot corrector, reducing hyperpigmentation and evening out the skin tone. My go-to dark spot correcting serum was the Good Molecules dark spot correcting serum. You guys probably heard me talk about it a bunch. I still think it is a great serum. It's a very safe serum and my skin loves Loved it. However, I need things that's working a bit faster. I think my skin just got a little too used to the Good Molecule Serum. So if you need something to incorporate, if you want something, maybe you're newer to adding serums, I think it's a great choice. If we are trying to move faster, I'm hoping that this is going to actually get the stubborn spots away and off the face. The texture according to Anua on the site is that it's a non-greasy watery like serum. We will determine if it's actually non-greasy. I hope that that's the case and I think it will be the case. The website also makes sure to highlight that it has many gentle ingredients. So yes, it's going to really get the job done with your dark spots and you're evening out your hyperpigmentation. However, it also has ceramides and but it also has ceramides and hyaluronic acid to protect the skin's barrier, soothe and hydrate, basically everything you want in a serum. Reducing and preventing dark spots while also soothing and hydrating the skin. That's two things that I always hope for. I make sure to use a hydrated routine all day, every day. Also one that focuses on texture while also focusing on dark spots. Let me check real quick that this mixes with retinol because I would like to be able to use it every day. But let's check real quick. It doesn't say anything about retinol. I see a little bit more about transemic acid. It actually says that it's meant to visibly fade the visible dark spots while also preventing new ones from forming because it interrupts the melanin production. I'm hoping and praying that it works for us chocolate girlies. Like I said, it doesn't mention anything about retinol or not using it with retinol, but it does say you can use it day and night, starting with your affected areas, then gradually increase the usage as needed. You can use it morning and night before applying oils and moisturizers. In the morning, you have to apply sunscreen of at least SPF 30. One thing I know for sure is that this thing is sold out. So let's jump right into the routine. I'm gonna go wash my face. I'm gonna do my toner. I'll show you guys what I'm using, but let's try the serum together. We have freshly washed our face. You can see I look a little pale, child. What have we done so far? We used the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Moisture Deep Cleansing Oil Unscented Version. We have double cleanse with this as the first step and followed up by the CauseRx Advanced Numb Using Gel Cleanser. I have said many times how much I love all of these products. What is sitting on my face? Well, it is a Korean toner pad by Numbuzzin. This is the Numbuzzin number five plus vitamin I cinnamide concentrated pad. It is a brightening antioxidant filled pad. 
which has been going great for me. This has made a huge impact on correcting my dark spots and evening out my skin tone alone. Uh, adding this has been great. I recently did a first impression and a one month update using it. This routine is actually featured in my numbuzzin one month update video so check that out if you want me to go into deep if you want to hear a few more details about each of the products okay so the pad has been sitting on my face for three minutes i still leave it on my face every day every night for three to five minutes just because i feel like it allows it to really get more problem areas boom i'm already starting to glow right but no we gotta add some extra oomph and moisture and hydration into the skin this is the pune king yo essence toner which i really need to re-up on my skin reacts so beautifully to it. Right on top of my damp skin before the toner dries up, preferably. Okay, so at this point, the skin is looking a little more lively, a little more brightened. So I'm gonna let it dry down just a little and then I'm gonna apply Faded Topicals Brightening Clearing Serum. I am at the point where I use this every other night and retinols the other night. Now, um, I knew I recognized the ingredients and I was like, what other product do I use? And it just wasn't clicking. This Faded Topical Serum also has transemic acid and niacinamide in it, so these should work beautifully together. That is very exciting. I'm glad that at least I know that on the nights that I use this, I can use it together. Maybe these first two weeks I start with two nights. I don't want to just jump in and and damage my skin so i'm gonna start with two nights for the first two weeks this is a really good starting point for me i'm doing great this is such a pretty color look at the product oh, really quick if you made this far i hope you like subscribe because you already vibe with your girl on this channel we care about having glowing skin and growing our hair all at an affordable price so if that's something that you are interested in comment down below right now sunset literally s U N S E T so that I know you made it this far because I want to show you so much love for being a real one for supporting I appreciate it and after you do that like subscribe watch the ads because your support matters I appreciate it and keep watching and baby I love me some watermelon this is giving me watermelon vibes it is 30 fluid ounces this I know it has a US site but it's sold out it's $19 on there though I bought this on sale from Stylevana it didn't say shake, but I'm going to shake it. But okay. Nice little dropper. It's such a pretty color. Ooh, I just put my whole nose on it. Jesus. It has absolutely no smell. The color makes you think you're about to smell something. It, no smell. And honestly, that's probably better because fragrance free is better for me. Okay, so I'm going to apply my faded topical serum. I am now at the point where I apply this all over my face. This is strong enough. My skin can handle it at this point. But I'm really going to try my best to incorporate this Anua serum nice and slow. Because I don't want no smoke. My very pretty skin is in a good place. Okay. I don't have any open wounds or irritation. Oh, it's a lot more watery than I expected. I'm literally applying it just on my problem areas with the dropper. I'm trying not to just smooth it all over my face. Very little tiny drop. It's so pretty. And a lot comes out with that one drop. So squeeze very lightly. Okay, okay I can see the glow through the camera though. That's nice. This, oh god, this area right here. I'm not putting the dropper on my face by the way. It might look like it from the angle, but do not let the dropper touch your face. You don't want to cross contaminate. I'm so proud of this area back here. This has improved a lot. Even though I still have stuff there that I'm trying to get rid of, it has definitely brightened and improved so much. I mean, technically, I did get majority of my face using it, but still... It said to apply to affected areas directly and I did that instead of just spreading it all over the place. This feels really nice. It actually doesn't have a sting. It doesn't have any irritation going on at all. It glides across the skin a lot more watery than I expected. I thought it was going to be a slightly more thicker. The little bit that I have applied gave me a beautiful glow. I'm really hoping that these products work well together. But the same way y'all have heard about the same cleanser 
for a long time. I want to start doing that with the toner and serum step. I don't mind switching out my cleansing oils. I don't mind switching out my moisturizers. And yes, maybe I will incorporate a different serum here or there because they can really add hydration and glow and all that fun stuff. But overall, to get my skin to stay even, to stay soothed, to stay in no texture, I want to keep the routine that I have going. Oh, it got a little tackiness to it. Can you see the way it's moving my cheek? Very interesting. It dries down quickly though. So we are now done with our serum steps and my very last step will be moisturizer. This is the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm B5. I know, you know, technically it's not a moisturizer. I have been doing so much to my skin. This is so soothing and helps protect the skin's barrier, repair the barrier. It's so good. I only use it at night. I will only be using this at night. I'll only be using this serum at night, so to be clear, this is my night routine. I prefer to go to bed like a honey bun, so I don't mind that it takes a little while for the bomb's white cast to sink in. It's not like sunscreen, it actually will sink in. All I do know is that it mixes so well with all the products I use, especially a hydrating routine. It sinks into the skin. It's softens the heck out of the skin but also it doesn't clog my pores at all you would think that with such a thick moisturizer it will clog it but no it just helps me look smoother and brighter and deeply moisturized I honestly since I went back to using this I haven't had any skin irritation now that I'm thinking about it I haven't even really been breaking out I love it but see look even as I've been talking white cast is just sinking into the skin absorbing we love that. I think this routine is really going to take me far because I'm targeting everything I need to target. We're cleansing, we're brightening and hydrating throughout the toner and serum step, and then we're wrapping up with soothing, repairing, and protecting the skin's barrier. I think this is like a legit routine. This is very safe. That was a great first impression. It was easy to use, very lightweight, mixed well with the rest of my routine has no smell i actually don't have anything bad to say about this i'm gonna take anua's word for it that i need to incorporate it slowly to my routine i'm gonna pay attention use it twice a week write down my notes and i'll give you guys a one month update i can't lie y'all this routine got me feeling myself this is nice this is a really good first impression i'm excited to see what this could do for me in one month because you're supposed to be able to see results in two weeks so i'll definitely be giving you guys progress updates i mean if you have any questions or anything that i may have missed if you hear any other products that i need to add to the list that might get to my problem faster put me on hopefully this is the answer but just in case, comment down below. Comment down below if you have any video requests or product suggestions, because if your idea is selected, you will get a shout out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon. Ciao.